friends welcome back to my channel today we are going to do a craft room chore a lot of this has stayed the same quite a few things have changed um, the house is quiet so I thought this was perfect time to do this because I like to talk to you because I like to talk but you know so Right behind me, I won't spin around, but right behind me is my front door. So this goes directly in. This I do not like, but my husband had to uh, do something because my stadium microphone wasn't working. So he had to do something because they're a little bit too tight and he hasn't fixed it. So that's what, yeah, I don't like to see that. He doesn't actually like to see that because he's quite particular about that as well. But, so just to go around, to try to go around, there's a majority of things that are, as I said, are the same, but there's a few bits and pieces that I have changed around and tweaked and I've decoupled, decoupled, decluttered, decoupled, cold. That might be the better word. A lot but there's still quite a few things in here this is this room is a multi-use room because I work I have my own little um, business not craft related so that is in here there is quite a few crafts in here there's cross stitch there's patchwork there's um, mending and that sort of stuff there is my dining well my bigger dining room table I have a small one there we use this one when friends come to craft and also um, when the family comes because my husband is one of four kids and sometimes my parents and his parents get along really really well so you know that is I have to remove something because it has my address on it so bear with me a sec friend of mine's so okay I've changed everything out okay so let's let's okay this is a new thing for this is a new thing I had some library catalog cards over here and it was too low to have my cutter on top so I decided that that's not gonna happen so usual stuff in the first drawer I like to go and see drawer inside drawer so that's what you're going to see from this one inside the drawer here the first drawer I have all my stickles Nuvo drops um, down here let's go to the side here palette knives um, extra a large bottle of glossy accents things like that this is all my scraps from my guillotine obviously so when I cut I can just open the drawer a little bit and whoosh, works perfectly for me and as I said easy to come out so these are stuff that I don't play with as much as I should so we've got lots of little like Nuvo glitter pasty things cosmic shimmer um, we've got this is the duo transfer gel this is um, Modeling paste, homemade. Embossing paste. No, is it embossing paste? No, it's embossing paste, homemade. I can't remember. I don't think it's too much of a difference, but embossing paste, all the new vase stuff, some waxes, um, arrange your little tools, that sort of thing. Next one down. Now, it is quite loud. My Copics used to be in that bottom drawer. And I sort of thought, well, why are you bending down? Because I will roll the chair over and I'll bend down. So in this time, last time I went away, they came back and they went in here. So I still roll my chair over, but I don't have to bend down so far. <laughs> this is all my charts for my Copics. And then we've got even less used bits and pieces so the texture paste, multi-matte medium, because I have a smaller bottle that I put that into. 
uh, heavy bottle gel, you know, the shimmering, shimmery paste and that I've got two on because, you know, I did think to realize I had one. So let's go in down. This last one is a bit of a mod podge of bits and pieces. So again, some other little crafts. Uh, headphones, of course, we've got my refills over here. These are more copy chart things that don't really get used very often these days. Lots of little um, silicone molds that I've never used but they were given to me and I wouldn't mind doing it one day. Hot glue gun which also has the fuse tool in the bottom there and another tool that I've never used because it's supposed to make cut out circles and um, yeah, I'm probably going to take the finger off. Those are like glittery hot glue. Those are not hot glue. These ones here are not hot glue. These are um, from what I understand, basically stuff that you can use the molds for. Tissue paper, heat gun, blah, 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 blah. All that sort of stuff. Yummy goodness. Okay. Down in here, this is two folders of sign language bits and pieces because I do sign language for a living. That's my job. And I volunteer to interpret um, only to only to so I don't get any hate thing only to help my schools because I did it part time and um, I feel the need to explain all this I did it part time and there's a big difference between part time and full time people so I volunteered and did in some interpreting to help my schools they knew I was volunteering this has some talcum powder. It has a box for my camera that I just got. There is also a heat gun in there that is new. More And then gesso in this black tub that you can't really see and that sort of stuff. These boxes, these two are empty. We've got cellophane bags for when I sell. There's 3D samples. Um, I don't think there's too much. Yeah, there's a few cards in there. They probably need to be sorted out and removed. C6 envelopes because C6 envelopes are what we use for our card bases because we use half a A4 cardstock. We don't use... It is different. I've talked about this on my channel before, but the Aussie cardstocks is just the straight A4. We don't have document sizes or anything like that. Square and DL envelopes. Moving up, my splatter box, my container of micas, um, color burst. I did have had a video on that where I used some of that many, many years ago. My camera, my camera battery, and that is an old photo. Oh, no, it's a photo. It's a bit of, I did this with my grandmother many 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 years ago so it's it doesn't i see it i know it i see it every time i plug my camera in which is quite often i'm using my phone today up here these two are full of pencils so or pencils or pens we've got kaiser craft pens we've got they're like little gel gel pens zig clean colors we've got two drawers of those Uni color, which is American, Australian, sorry. Uni, uniquely creative. These are um, basically like the clean zig pens. Intense pencils, mermaid markers. These are really great for because they're very very wet. So a little bit of multi uh, mixed media, which I don't do very often, but. Echo lines. This one's empty because there's still more echo lines that I will probably. Oh, I think this. Oh no, it's empty. Kaiser Craft pencils. Let me stand up for a minute. I'm trying to work. Go slowly. Kaiser Craft pencils. Distress markers, and these two are both Prisma color pencils. 
over here this has sort of extra pencils that I ended up buying this says echo line but it's empty because they got moved into here just recently a little bit of distress crayons and this is Prismacolor accessories this up here is another um, sharpener for the Prismacolor because mine is broken it can still be used but it was annoying me do I need to say more I know some of the blues are out of stock but you know it's okay uh, moving down again down the bottom wait, 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 there that is my jelly plate my big jelly plate because up here is it trying to move slowly palettes and the gel press so this has a smaller one and lots of little cups and bowls and the brayer and as I said palettes this is some cards for this here some cards for scraping they're very very old then we have more 3d projects because I quite like them so you know little book of things that I've made and lots of different projects in there blanks this has just stuff that I haven't used so books little folder board things um, and one of those tea tea boxes you know I know what I know what I'm talking about, but I just can't think of the name of it. Next. This is all texture. So this has got like bubble wrap in it and um, packing stuff. And what else? Let me go up there. So a couple of little mixed metery type of things. A very old book. This is Winnie the Pooh. This, this I can't quite bring myself to do anything to, but mostly bubble wrap and textury stuff. Up there is boxes for mailing resin, all the bits and pieces that go with resin. Um, Travely totes. So there's I've got some small little totes um, and bits and pieces like that. For when I go away, I can just grab one of those if I so wish. But honestly, I don't use that too much, so that might get changed. And you'll see why over that way. And tins. Now, this has not changed. Um, this is a photo of my grandma. This is a photo of my aunt. And my grandparents both um, have... Well, all my grandparents have now passed away, but my grandmother um, that I was m very much close to, um, she passed away. So that's her little memorial thingy in for the, when we had the service. So this is all the same. If you know, this is um, all my paints in here. So I'm going to pause this and just open this up for a second so you can see it briefly. What I might do is quickly, all my paper now I've really greatly culled all my paper so we've got all my glittery bits and pieces some older stamping up papers I used to be a stamping up demonstrator which I'm not anymore but there's some older papers that I really really love most of these there's wood down the bottom there's like the, the wood grains you know all those brickwork the basket weave papers all that sort of stuff that's really great for photos and then a lot of this is all either kits of things like collections of things and that sort of stuff I don't really know why I've got it but this I, I know why I've got it because it's super pretty but I'm yet to do anything with because I'm just finding myself way too busy so let me pause here and I'll open that drawer. Well, it's not a drawer, it's a cupboard, but sort of a cupboard, I suppose. Yeah, it's a cupboard. So this is it. So this is, my dad made this. 
because this was taken off. My grandmother used to have that grandmother down there. She used to have an ironing, ironing board cupboard. So it was a lot narrower, but it had all the shelvings in here and then the ironing board folded out. She ironed, folded it all up. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. So all my paints are in here. It doesn't really need too much of a description about it all. Different, some different mediums up the top there. My delusions, more delusions, a little bit of distress stains. A uh, little bits and pieces and um, more delusions down the bottom before they change to the newer packaging. So that's that. Then I've got a little calendar here that helps me keep organised with all of my... I'm on two design teams at the moment, um, but it also helps me remember if I'm going away, then what I need to plan for previously, my front door. Photos of my babies, including my nieces and nephews. Okay, moving down here. Let's go to this little rolly cart now. This was given to me by a friend. Two of my friends were getting rid of them, so I ended up scoring one. This has, I think it's made for beauty. So it each little panel comes undone, like this part comes undone. That's the lid. And the bottom and the bottom one actually like folds outwards and then has little drawers so it's too hard to open up but in here is pretty much I'll open the top one to show you I can do that one this just has little extra bits and pieces for when I go away so some of this is already Packed. These are sort of extras because like multi um, anti-static tools, extra little shut knives, little rulers, crystal effects, things like that. Um, I have extra for these because I do teach sometimes. So I shoved a couple of extra ones in there, a little tiny guillotine. So that is one less thing I don't have to think about that all my little tools are here and if I can add to it at any point and then usually underneath here I shove maybe um, stamps maybe some cardstock and in the bottom here actually has in some of the drawers has a little watercolor palette that I don't use very often it has some watercolour cardstock. It has some images that I didn't colour last time, so I just left them in there. And it also has some little diamante gems, some excess of foam. You know, all those things that you're just going to want, they just stay in here, so I don't have to think about it. Down the bottom here is a, another case that came with that one. It's a little bit different, but it's still, you know, pretty much pink. That ends up ended up being my sewing because I thought I don't really need it but it opens out the sides and then the top like an old sewing box um, clearly sewing and all of these are just books so some of these are cross stitch books in this one here is cross stitch these are like templates and um, more cross stitch this black folder actually has a kit that I was going to do for my son for like patchwork never got around to it but it's there waiting for me and there's a couple other books and things like that for it um doo -doo -doo. this is a little bit of construction-y sort of stuff this has a trunk in it that you can make out of construction things that I wouldn't mind doing card making books some inspiration magnolia books and um that's magnolia and just other inspiration books there's a card making sketches book if i ever get stuck large stamps that's the current patchwork that i'm working with and the threads are all sitting on top buttons 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 alphas things that you can stick on they might be metal they might be wood they might be plastic who knows 
I was doing like thank you cards for the hospital, but something's happened with that and they're not collecting them at the moment. So that's just sitting there. Christmas cards are in the Christmas box because, you know, you do things and you, I stash them there for I do it. Okay, these little drawers, we've got extra bags, so that might be um, plastic freezer bags. It might be, what's, what are they called? Paper bags. <laughs> Paper bags, chalkboard, um, stickers, and some blue tag, some other templates, which they're more like the old plastic. I'm not going to get into that because it's going to make the camera go funny and... But the old plastic templates that we used to always have, Ziploc bags. This one up here has Christmas ornaments that I've made. This is getting too high for me, so I won't be pulling that down. And that one, there we go. That one is towels because, uh, yeah, I tend to do messy work at when I teach sometimes. Like, you know, all the texture pastes and all that sort of stuff. Okay, moving down. This is heavy. These are all got my little dies. This is all got my dies in it. So I have my dies in little um, CD cases and then the labels here. And they are labeled like alphabet and numbers, butterflies, all that sort of stuff, circles, Christmassy things. This one is the same, once again, heavy. So things that I use more often, like words, thank yous, um, birthdays, rectangles, and that's just more so with this side than that side, because I don't use the alphas, but I want to keep them in the front. They are in the front to be easily used, so I can just pull it out a little bit and push it in, very heavy. My friend bought it for me for five bucks. Office bits and pieces, sticky tape, um, little rings, all that sort of stuff. My duster. Next one has just all rubber bands, but punch boards and some other bits and pieces. So this was given to me when I left one of the local schools and I've got so many pens so I haven't used it yet, but I will. Next one down has foils and vinyls. It's pretty full, but the, it also has little boxes under there with foil scraps. It also has wax paper, um, wax grease proof paper things like that so it's a bit of a it's a bit of a mess let's be honest but I don't use it very often I've got lots of black because I did want to I did use all my black for my labels and things like that this is going to be a long video so I hope you don't mind laminator foils let's move on quickly Storage, so this is all my storage pouches for my um, stamp pockets and things like that, stamp maker. This is another craft, a diamond dots thing. So all the bits and pieces are in there and there is a light box in that one. And this is a little bit more office-y, boring stuff, envelopes, stickers, things like that. That box down there is got all my nail goodness to if I decide to do my nails. Um, ATCs. This one here is more rub ons and things, stickers. And I think that really needs to go. Cards that I've done in classes, and these two rows here are all my cards that I've made. So, still my cards, two tubs of oversight cards. These are the standard um, Aussie A6 cards. These are cards that are going to my sister-in-law next time I see her because she's got a younger child. 
so I thought she could use those. All this is all little <coughs> excuse me. This is all little charms and paper clips, things for babies and things you can add to an envelope. This little dude I bought in England many, many years ago. See beads, shells, add magnetics, not real shells, but little packets of shells. I don't really know why I bought them, but I did. There's candles in there. Eyeballs. Pretty cute little eyeballs. Lots of eyeballs in there. Bows and cloud stickers. I came across these cloud stickers and I bought quite a few of them because they were going out cheap. Words. So Tim Holtz packs any sort of stickers with words. Um, those are the Tim Holtz ideology packs of words. Paper, paper, paper toll. A little bag that I made, and that's got cardstock in it and paper, like print it, just plain printer paper. This is my great big speaker. Up there we have tags, lots of Manila tags and contact paper that you can see sticking at the top. Moving down, we have brother silhouette. This is a relatively new thing. Um, unfortunately, when I moved, I had a smaller drawer thing that was much more like hip height. And this is wider. My brother's scanner cart was on top of that. Unfortunately, when I moved it, it's I've tried to recalibrate it, but it's going to need to go and have a service done before I can use it for anything intricate. I can still use it for playing because I can simply trim it up. Quickly trying to be quick. Wood stamps, twine, white ribbon and white and cream, blue, green and black and brown ribbon, neutral sort of bits and pieces, pink and red and yellow, and this is greatly culled down, flowers. So these are stamping up wood mount cases and you can buy them empty and I've just put my flowers in there and labeled all the end and it fits these drawers like obviously it's the wider drawers it's not the short ones it's a wider one but it fits it perfectly so I love it aprons chucks um, microfiber cloths dryer sheets which we don't really use in Australia for dryers punches And more punches this one is heavier this little container is from ikea i mean you know these ones they're from ikea but this one is bought from the store and this is an old one so the colors are slightly off but i don't care because it was cheap we've got my little minions because you know i like my minions bigs dies and other tapes. So we've got the metal tape. We've got um, black electricity tape, electrical tape, duct tape sort of typey thing. Sprays. And, you know, that's um, a Bible for journaling, which I haven't done yet. There's a couple of printouts for that in that case. Heat press. I used to have two big folders that I didn't very rarely use because I would have to, okay, I'm sort of lazy, sort of, I, ha I would have to pull it down, I'd have to unzip it, I'd have to open it up, flick through it, pull it out, and then flick through it. This way, I just open the drawer. They're all labelled like hearts and things like that. Flick through, find out what it is. I leave the drawer open, use it, and whack it back in. These are bigger ones like your 3D, your square, square ones like that. 
This is, I'm part of Lions for Deaf and Hard of Hearing Lions Club. So that's work for them. Extra plates. So just extra plates. Cuddlebug and Big Shot and things like that. Extra platforms, so these are my extra Misties and um, non stamparatus. So I legit have about four of them, and when some class and ugh, some classes that I actually teach, I use all four of them. So they do get used. My lights, nothing in that one. These are all my digital images that I've collected from sort of my design teams or things like that. This one has Cricut tools. This has some commissions that I won't really show you and a weeding tool for um, any vine, the vinyl work that I do. This is Christmas cards or cards that people have sent me, um, including up there, focus, there we go, some Christmas cards that friends of mine have made. I made that. That was a birthday card. Where am I? That was a birthday card made from my boss many, many, no, not many, many years ago, a couple of years ago. This is a card from Courtney Kreeber. If you follow her on the, on your, if you follow her channel, um, you'll know who she is, obviously. <laughs> A card that I made just not long after my grandmother passed away and it used to light up but then I had to play with it and fiddle with it a little bit more. This was, and we'll just hide his name, although I think it's only the first name. Yep, it's only the first name. Um, this is a kid that I used to work with. He made me that, made me cry. Okay, moving down, stencils again flick through them and just these are really big but some of my stencils are really big so I don't know whether to cut those down or not this one has just some projects that I have done these albums are empty there's nothing in these um, I used to have that on my desk but clearly it's not this is the only paper pads I have these days. I have these two tubs and you can see that they are not full. I used to have about four. Standard punches in this drawer, in this cupboard I should say, because there's a drawer inside the cupboard. So, you know, borders, tags, standard circles, scallops, things like that. Down the bottom there is a box that a friend gave me that has um you know the little oh there is one so all those little tray things wooden trays so i thought i'd try and do something with that and maybe in a flora class extras this is heavy so extra cardstock extra bubble wrap um extra baby wipes extra 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 Ooh. 12 by 12 cardstock in this cupboard while I'm down here this has my Xyron this has the case and feels like the blocks for the Stampin' Up um, acrylic blocks cards that either I've made for my family or my friends have sent me I did a book one time with Christmas cards. So I don't know. I may do that with these ones because these ones like during COVID, there's some Christmas cards in them, but during COVID, you know, thinking of you and blah, 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 that sort of thing. Beautiful cards. Card stock, which needs to be refilled. This one, two, three, four, and five over here. Are all stamps now I have called this because this one was full of stamps so this is a little card that I made a little a box that I made I won't show through some because some of these do have addresses of people I'll try and find a card that does not have any address on it no 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 there's one 
and sometimes I just have their name already on it or the cards in there waiting for their birthday to come along and I've just realized I haven't sent a card that's actually in there but you know my printer up here is the foam, you know, like the, the craft foam or the really, really thin foam for die cutting, um, different templates for creative cards up there. Focus. Next is my bind it all machine. And these four boxes have like extra cables, little extra Albany things. Um, this is empty. And I think the other office one's empty. Moving down to this cupboard. This has a mixture of... Oh, this cupboard's not too bad. This one's not too bad. Press and seal. Um, specialty cardstock over here. This has... What does this have? This has little um, notebooks in it. Little clip folder things. Some of them I've decorated. Some of them I haven't. Like sandpaper, UT, Perlex up there, Piggy. This has paper already cut for card inserts if I need to do a black, um, oh, and that's a light, black card and for some reason and I want to do, put a white insert in it. Acetate, tracing paper, I have culled these greatly. Vellum and jack paper, the old, old jack paper from quite a while ago. We can't get any more acrylic blocks. Don't need to explain. Probably should explain, but a friend of mine bought this for me. And it's a sloth, and he's cute. Copic paper and a book. Um, just a project bins if I'm half through something. This other one does have something in it, but I think it's just leftover bits and pieces. Cutters, stencil and masking um, material, stencil like this sort of stuff, like this kit, and stencil material to make your own stencils. Pastels, and pastels in the back there, and twinkling H2Os, alcohol wipes, large zig bags. Moving down to this one, now I'm trying to hurry up because it's getting long. Embossing powder, which includes things like this. So embossing enamel. There are lots of powder there that I probably should go through and double check in case it's gone off because I have had it go off. Embossing trays. Templates, templates, templates substrates so we've got um i don't know what it's called but you know you could squish this and it's sort of metal it's different substrates in here including um cork you know, clay and their tools one day i would love to get into that but i haven't done it because i never had any time my guillotine and my little daubers stamps by judas because they're really cute. They are getting old now. Alcohol backgrounds that I haven't done anything with. Yupo, more Yupo, and this has all my mirror cardstock. My gold, my, yeah, my gold, my silver, all that sort of stuff. Canvas pad. Eyelets. Things like that. This is more little hardware. This is more like the um, the tools to hold it all together, things like that, um, labels, label pulls, other little doorknobby pulls, things like that, you know, they're a little bit different. And this has other label, like silver label things. So mostly label pulls and things like that. Album prep, which I don't have too much at the moment because I'm not doing an album. And extra black. Moving on. We have spoons and spoons are in there. And sanding um, sanding for cardstock and a couple of little funnels because I didn't know where else to put it. Different tags that I punch out of scraps because you'll see loads of scraps very shortly. Backgrounds. 
images that I've already coloured and I haven't done anything with yet. Shrink plastic because it was getting lost in all the acetate so it went in there. Things to be finished. Smooth black cardstock, textured black scraps, sticky white. So this is just where I've had sticky, um, sorry, white cardstock. And I've put, can you see that double sided tape? On it so I can just peel it off and die cut it at will. And same thing with black. You'll see this one better. There we go. Cross stitch, cross stitch, cross stitch. This has all the flosses in it. This has like some kits but also some charts and that's a current project and it's just nothing there. Oh, moving up down here. This is just a big dark room door. Sorry for the bang clutter and darker door stamp. Uh, and that is a little air dryer thing for when you're doing your cards and that sort of stuff. So you can easily, you know, just stick your cards in and let them sit there and dry. Larger tote, which I sort of want to move on to another home but I haven't quite brought myself to move it on to another home just cases that I used to put um kits in like if I go away to a camp but at the moment I'm finding that I'm just using the other craft totes so these may disappear handmade paper and Christmas paper oh, let's see if I can open this so Christmas paper, okay. This has glitter and some little bit of flower soft. I bought my first flocking um, jar of flocking, gilding, gilding um, flakes, and more glitter. Christmas words. These are actually like stamps, like um, wood wood stamps, and these next two are Auslan related dictionaries and things like that let's go up here Tim Holtz um, book that white one is actually empty this one has like charts for like my Prismacolor pencils um, my embossing folders ink pads which is not really up to date but you know we'll deal with that in here is varying different things so we've got um, wobblers we've got roller stamps but they've actually just been removed so there's nothing in that one yet like little tools next row we've got cables and tools oops my minions up there my cables and tools and then we've got mica flakes and we've got some brushes we've got Jelly Rollers, Wink of Stella. Now this is a fair way, but I usually stand on my map drawer and get to these. It's it's stuff that I don't use very often. Extra large dies. So if I have some die sets that have one that don't fit into the container, I'll just put it in there because it's not something I use very often. Fine liner and aqua, aqua, aqua lips. Shaker material, shaker material, and Sharpies in that bottom one. Washi tape. Now, all this is pretty much, there's um, swatches, receipts, die cuts, and I, it's got peels, but I think it's, I don't know why, but, you know, like, pat it off, that sort of stuff. These are all, like, Christmas images that are yet to be coloured yet to really do anything with so that probably should go in the background but they're in there for the time being and then we've got the same sort of thing with animals I'll show you what I mean okay so stuff that's already been stamped out but I've, rem I've gotten rid of the stamp or something like that uh, animals crazy birds gnomes angel co which I used to get images from a friend of mine it's American, which is long, long gone from what I understand. Other things, people. 
This is pencils, pens, highlighters, and whiteout. This is where my sons might go if they need something. Moving down in here. Oh, look, there's me. Moving down here has um, a little bit of alcohol inks, but this all has my glue, extra glue, extra um, move, what's it called? Workable fixative. And that used to have my stamp cleaner in it that I used to make. This one over here has more of those containers. It has things that really should probably go somewhere else, honestly. But they also have my little my little bins. And they're buried in the bottom there somewhere. Moving down, this has all my alcohol markers. Not my markers. Has all my alcohol inks in these little containers that are actually saw these used for something else and I can't think of what it was. I've seen these used for diamond dots as well. My heat, my blower for my tool, for my alcohol inks, and there's some re-inkers down there as well. Cuddle bug over there, doesn't need much of a explanation. This has extra, all my plates that I might use for the big shot, including the bigger one, um, metal shim, precision plate, and a couple of large dies. These Tim Holtzy um, diffusers. This has paper clips and um, little, uh, they're called bulldog clips, or little clamps for when I do albums, USB sticks. And a couple of little things for maybe photos. And this has all pens for lettering. New diamond tool, not diamond tool, uh, label tool because I dropped mine and I broke it. Silhouette. These are here because very shortly um, I will be going away again and I didn't want to take the lids off because I take the lids off when they're in the drawers, which you'll see. Glass mats. Up in there is some old layouts that I'm not a scrapbooker but I have done layouts for one reason or another and I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Extra envelopes over there. That's pretty much it. Now this is all the same. I did spray paint this but obviously not terribly well but it looks better in real life. All my inks. This lifts up all my inks so you can see my holes and there's holes back in there where those would fit into those but again I've I've culled a little bit but you'll see that in another drawer so just all my different inks so it's a pretty big drawer but it's flat it's very narrow so it fits it perfectly this is my favorite with all my bling these are more of those trays that I didn't use all those wood things a friend of mine did but um, these are all my trays I do want to get rid of this and put this in my fridge one of these in my fridge because I don't think it works terribly well in the fridge but it will work perfectly terribly well in here but it will work perfectly in my fridge so that needs to be replaced these are just things I've got online which ended up being way bigger than I thought they were going to be. And there's another one over here. See, there. That's all brads and things like that. And then sequins and clear drops, which I use a lot. Oh, I can't open this one one-handed. There we go lettering books and things like that and the last of my stamping up inks so before this was full so this has way more room in it to I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna put in here but you know that's what I've got left so 
they're sort of more my favourites, so Night and Navy, Blackberry Bliss, things like that. That shouldn't be in here. Pepper, Pepper says is not a favourite. I don't know why that's in here. But all this is um, lettering. Practice sheets, more practice sheets. Show me your drills. I don't know, things like that. Now, the next one has score pads. Scoreboards, little pockets that I put my kits in, things like that. My heat pad, just little, you know, paper pads and things like that. Nothing terribly exciting, which is now not going to. Oh, there we go. That's not. Felt. Don't really need to explain that too much, but lots of felt. Materials. Extras. So when I left stamping up, I made sure I got lots of foam dots, lots of blue dots, because I use those a fair bit. Um, any extra that is not used is just very old, and for some reason I don't use it. Scissors, jelly rollers, you know. Extra, extra, extra. Cutting mats. That's not cutting mat. That is just very, very large A3 cardstock. Okay, these two I'm not going to open. This is packing. Can I open this one? Maybe I can open this one. So packing material and big watercolour cardstock and some clipboards. This one is chipboard. It's too big. It's too heavy. Not going to open it. Okay. Where I take all my photos. This is where my where I craft. This over here has my TLC designs because I'm part of their team. That's what my dies and some stamps and things like that. This red thing I got before I left school and I made all these little boxes for them so let me pull this out and sit down and I'll show you uh let's go at the top paint brushes words stamps and things like that that I use quite regularly a friend of mine gave me this let's turn him on so he a little n and he changes color he's pretty cute so odd things Album things, so this could has magnets in it, things like that. Um, this one has all my tape, cables for whatever I need, because it's nice and handy compared to the one over there. Ziploc bags, paper towel, my croppita, and manuals for anything. Mine, <laughs> which usually means things that my boys can't eat. Orders. Things that I'm going to give away, blending, all my blending brushes for my oxides. There's other ones elsewhere, but they are all for my oxides. Cards that I need to blog, rubbish. So I usually stick that out, like so far, or even more, and just throw stuff in there. In progress, things that are sort of half done. And baby, old baby wipes. Water, this has got all my foam and... Um, there's glue dots in there and just like my phone current things so I can just grab it and go this is an old phone phone case which fits perfectly scissors a little bit of, of tools that get lost in here so I just shove them you know little things like these get lost this I get to use a fair bit this gets lost so I just put them in here oops Put them in here and then it's all good. Sentiments. This has all the little sentiment strips that have already been cut out or and I've just labeled them and I've thrown them in here. Mostly this is uniquely creative. Uh, a little bit of paper rose and a little bit of 
um, tablet expressions. Okay, got to sit on my chair properly because I was on the edge and I was going to fall off. Embossing powder. So I just pull that out, use it with a spoon, and then I can put it back. A little, this holds my phone um, because sometimes when people ring me, I need to talk with my hands. Glue. This little tub is just if I'm using Copic markers and then I can throw them in there. To the right of me has sort of the tools that I use the most. I don't need that many little diamond triangular things, but more embossing powders that I'm more likely to use. Um, more embossing powders, little bits of bling. Stardust stickles, multi matte medium, diamond stickles, Nuvo ones. My go-to ink pads, little embossing tool, but now I've got this, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Whether I'm going to, what I'm going to do with that. My crystal container, baby wipes. This is stuff that's all in progress, things I've been trying out and playing. This has the bigger packs of, Paper Rose has the bigger packs of sentiments, things like that. Next one is new stuff, which is overflowing, so I need to stop buying. Next one is kits and some dies that I haven't played with yet. Lots of dies. I'm sorry. Watercolor. That's watercolor brushes in there. And Gamsai Tambi, things like that. Because, you know. I can. This is stuff that I'm all going to sell off. As I said, I've really been culling my phone and tea ruler. We're nearly finished, nearly finished, nearly there. This is the last bank I have. This is um, obviously my sewing machine and this is a book that I write everything in. This is the Misty that I tend to use mostly. Uh, so there's really not much, too much in this drawer. Next one is all my cutting stuff. So my guillotine, just different scissors and some pens, jelly rollers, um, little, little um, you know, for your dies, a little wire cutter toy thing. And a ruler and a couple other tools back there as well. This is all cardstock. So there's swatches back there, alcohol wipes. So it's not all cardstock. Sorry, I lied. Little. So these are panels for the card, like the front of the pa panels. These are just all the card bases that are already cut up. This is um, a little bit of Copic cardstock as well as no, this is Copic cardstock this is Copic cardstock this is watercolor cardstock back here so that's in now two more blending tools and blending brushes for distress inks so you dye based inks that doesn't really have too much in it but I made well I painted it up and I really like it so it's not going anywhere Silicon matte water sprayer. This is an oil um, aromatherapy thing. More aromatherapies, including a you know hand sanitizer. Because you know who, why not? Sidekick. This is a little. Um, well, it's not little. This is adhesive sheets. To make things into stickers, my or my misty corner creative tools, magnetic thing, and that has all my swatches for different combinations. And that's going to stick to that now, and I'm going to have to fix it up in a minute. So let's just turn this around. So that is my craft room. I do hope you enjoyed 
looking around. I didn't go over much about my other desk because there's another desk roaming around, rotating around, front door. There's another desk there that you saw earlier, which has all my business type of stuff. And I can't really open those drawers. They all have confidential material in it. And honestly, it's all locked away. So um, it's boring. It's not anything like that. So that is my craft room. As I said, I do hope you like it. It is a longer video and I apologize, but it is... I like watching longer videos. I like having a look at all in the drawers and everything else. So I hope you like it. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. If, because honestly, that's the best compliment that we can get. And I really appreciate your time and I hope you have a great day. Bye. Oh, this is maybe like one of the first times you've ever seen me. So.